Okay, Poke Maniacs, welcome back. This is Cheshire coming to you today with some Shazam. That's the uh, Mega 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 Alakazam. Yeah, that makes sense. Mega Alakazam deck that I've been working on. Um, still needs a few tweaks. It's got a couple of really bad weaknesses. What's he playing? Dragon, Psychic, Dark. Don't know what he's playing. Jeez, uh, Mega is probably playing Mega something or other. We'll see. Maybe it's Rayquaza, maybe not. Um, but this deck does have a few uh, really annoying weaknesses, such as Hex Maniac and a bunch of other. Can't be bothered with this. What? All right, guess we will win the uh, the first game straight up. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I have no idea. All right. Let's go for another game, shall we? Alright! What are you playing? Water Electric. Uh, I reckon Mega Manetric. I would not be surprised at all. Uh, or maybe it's... Wasn't there some Kingdra deck that people were talking about? I haven't really seen yet, I think. Uh, what are we going to do here? I think... I don't think we're going first. And as much as I'd love to shut off his ability to potentially play Shamans in the first turn, I think we're just going to go Mega Alakazam. Nah, I mean Alakazam EX. So this deck has a few weaknesses. Greninja is definitely one of them. Um, I am going first. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Greninja is a real pain in my backside and there is absolutely nothing that I can do here I'm gonna get rid of that one um, there's nothing that I can do against it at this point uh, it's really just one of those really bad matchups once they start doing their uh, first attack uh, shadow stitching then things become real complicated real quick because it just shuts off all of your abilities uh, you know, with this deck you basically want Hooper first turn so that you can go Alakazam, Alakazam, and Shaman to refill. So Alakazam, Alakazam, attach a Spirit Link, attach the energy, Shaman back up. Absolutely, we want to draw some cards. That's fantastic. D Valley, nice. I don't think we'll play that on the first turn, um, just simply because we can't attack with it. It's kind of a bit of a waste. Uh, what we will do though, is we're going to drop an AZ to pick this guy up. I know how that sounds, but it's just in case he ends. Uh, because we don't want this guy on our bench, because he'll just sit there. We never use him as an attacker. I mean, his attack is pretty weak anyway. Scout two energy cards, attach to this Pokemon, this attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Sounds like it should be really great, especially in this deck, but with three energy required, we just, we never get there. Absolutely never get there. Uh, D-Valley, gonna drop Mega Alakazam, absolutely. Great. Now here, I feel like we could just drop another Hooper. Well, we're definitely going to drop some energy on him. Um, because we can go and get Spirit Link and put some extra damage out. And I think we might do that because next turn, no doubt, what we will see is he'll probably be able to drop the Rough Seas. And Rough Seas, again, is another one of those cards that really hurts us. Um, because they heal up so much with Rough Seas. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna just grab... Ooh, grab another Shaman. I mean, we can. It's gonna sit on our bench and be weak to his uh, attacks, but... Uh, I don't know if we really need to play it, to be honest, and I don't want to overextend. Great, that looked fantastic. Uh, we've already grabbed the Spirit Link, so we don't want any Versus Seeker here. We do want to lay on some nice thick damage, though. Smashed.
Now again, this deck can pose us some problems um, just because of rough seas, uh, and there it is. And then when he ends up playing um, Hot O E X and chucks a fire energy on it, it'll be healing itself at 50 a turn. Get rid of that. Thanks, buddy. Um, probably chuck a psychic energy on this guy, make sure we've got a nice spread of our psychic energy. See here, we can grab an as back, but we don't really need to. We might grab a Skylar though, for very good reason. Skylar goes and fetches. Now this is overextending right now, technically speaking, um, because what we should have done instead of waiting for to get a Spirit Link, we probably should have gone and gotten a D Valley to ensure that next turn. Um, if our opponent does chuck out another rough seas that we're covered and we can just devalue it out of the way again. Yep, absolutely. So we'll Zen Force. Oh, look at that. I didn't even calculate correctly. That was my bad. <laughs> yep. Cool. Again, this deck is just major fun. Um, it's getting there, it's almost ready. Uh, I don't foresee this being basically a, um, a tier one deck. It's probably gonna be a tier two, but it's gonna be one of those decks you have to watch out for at tournaments because it's just, it, it's, it's if you don't have a game plan against it, if you don't have healing, it's gonna run over you. In most cases, anyway. Unless, of course, you know you're playing Night March, which means that I'm just dead straight up. Um, Night March absolutely kills the deck. Uh, okay, so what have we got here? Joe Frogs. Judging by the colours, he's also playing a Mega Manetric deck. What What is it with people playing Hot O Mega Manetric today? Uh, is it just me? Is this something that's happened a long time that I haven't noticed? Yeah, it definitely is a Hot O Mega and Mega Manetric deck. Oh. Do not want to say that name anymore. Oh wow, that is the worst, literally the worst against his deck. Okay, yep, yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Uh, we are probably going to lose this straight up. Jirachi comes down. We really need another basic. Because his Manetric is just going to run us over. Interesting, yeah. Goes and gets his Hooper, and this is where he'll go and probably grab a uh, Manetric, probably a Mega Manetric, and a Ho Ho, I'd be thinking. Or just two Manetrics and a Ho, that's fine, absolutely. One way or the other. It's quite brisk here in Melbourne this morning. Ooh, imagine how it's going to be at Pokemon Regionals tomorrow. It'll be my first major tournament that I attend in... Oh, it's a States tournament, I think. Well, it'll be the first tournament that I attend for Pokemon in three or four years. Uh, I think the last one was uh, Regionals or Estates up in Queensland, and I came fourth with a Tornadus Donk deck. Which was hilarious. It was just funny the amount of times that I could just dump people out. Oh, okay, well that's that's not so bad, but um here's the thing. These I don't have anything to get them back. So that's gonna be painful. That's gonna be real painful. Uh, let's go and grab the Hooper. Try and maximize what we can get out. Absolutely. Let's grab Alakazam, Alakazam. What do we got? One, two, three, four cards in hand. We'll have two cards in hand. Oh, we'll grab another Shaman. It's probably like the worst thing I could have done, but we'll see how that pans out for us. Alakazam, there you go, Alakazam, 
and let's go with spirit link energy because we know that this guy's just going to get knocked straight out in a minute we're not going to drop the d belly because we know he plays rough seas we're going to wait until he's got a rough seas up or at least until i can attack now here i think we'll just drop the alakazam down to be honest um these guys get pummeled pretty easily um yeah we'll just do that Ooh, we could end feel like we should probably wait on the end as well, so we're going to Skylar for that other Spirit Link. I think... Or oh, we could Skylar for an AZ to make sure that we can get up. One of those Shaman. Or a Super Scoop Up, even. You know what, let's do that. Let's grab a Super Scoop Up. Let's drop that down. Ha! Alright, nice. That was uh, unexpected. He can't kill this guy in one shot, so we don't need to worry about that. And now we will D Valley and force him to play his rough seas. Because usually people will, they'll just overextend straight into rough seas just to go up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Know what you're playing. Get an Ultra Ball for Mega Manetric. Retreat straight into it. Oh, he's going to Sycamore first. Probably seeing if he can find a Rough Seas before he does anything. Because this deck can be a bit explosive with its damage. Did he get the Rough Seas? I hope not. <laughs> no, he didn't get the Rough Seas. Okay, sure. Wow, that's going to make things interesting. Alright. So we're going to Mega Revolve him. Where do we want to put that extra damage? Probably up on the Hoopa. Now, uh, 5 times 3, 150, it'll be 200. Oh, plus 10. Oh, I can actually knock him out. Okay. Well, let's first try and Super Scoop up to get rid of that damage. Plus, we can Mega Evolve and put some more damage around, uh, which is probably going to go into the Manetric. We can definitely knock him out now. That's great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're definitely going to end here. Hand resets. <laughs> nice. Two D valleys. Town map. See what we can get. Versus seekers. That's what we like to see. Not generally in here, but that's fine. So here we're going to Zen Force. Knock him the heck out. 220 damage, putting him on 290. Uh, we are going to grab one Versus Seeker and one Skylar. We should probably have actually grabbed the Ultra Ball, because um, then we could have Skylared for a Spirit Link, because we should still have one in the deck, and then Ultra Ball for Mega Alakazam. Would have been absolutely acceptable, for sure. But now we're forcing him to play on our turns uh, and play around. Uh, three, six, nine, seven, one, forty. Okay. Now, were we paying attention, and did we have any? All right. There's none in there. Um, that's interesting. That he might not be playing enough rough seas. Uh, so we're gonna chuck down an Alakazam. Uh, I think we'll just attach some energy to this Alakazam here. We know that we've got an N, uh, so I think we probably actually will just N away our hand. Try and get another Spirit Link and maybe another Alakazam. Hmm. 
No, but that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Arc the Zen Force, he does nothing. <laughs> this is what, resistance to psychic? Yeah. There's the rough seas. I hate that card so much. You know, I, f I forgot that we'd already taken two prizes when I end, and that was a plain mistake on my behalf, and I should have kept my hand rather than overextending. You know what? That's one of the things that happens. Okay, so he's got a battle compressor here to get some more energy out. I would be really surprised if I don't see him flip over some fire energy. Because it gets from the discard pile, right? It's basically the discard pile, yep. And he's got what? Water, grass, electricity, and no fire in there. Maybe his fire is. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, he's just got it now. Giovanni's scheme. It's a pretty good card. Grass and electricity, you didn't get any fire under there, that's um that's interesting. So we're gonna try the super scoop up again. No. Do we wanna go for another super scoop up, I wonder? Yeah, I think so. It's worth it. If we go in, yes we do. Attempting to save our bacon did not work. Alright, so we'll just slap some more under him. And I think we're just going to retreat this guy into an Alakazam. Because he can't kill the Alakazam, but he's going to rough seize. Like, we can't obviously do any damage at this point. Because we played the energy on this guy when we probably should have played it on this guy. Again, play mistakes are going to happen, um, and when you've been out of the game for as long as I have, uh, those mistakes, they get made. Alright, so he's gotten and gotten himself a versus seeker off a trainer's mail, so probably going to fish up, what, a Lysander, fighting Fury Belt onto his Ho-Ho, what a surprise. <laughs> That's just standard par for the course, really. Gonna turbo won't me. That's interesting because I really thought that he was gonna go on Lysander. Is he gonna put the fire energy on this guy yet? No, he's gonna power up his other metric. So here, hmm. I feel like I should just end, to be honest. Um, would only give me four cards back. But it'll be two extra cards than what are currently in my hand when you don't count the end anyway. Alright, great. So we're going to devolve this guy here. Uh, it's not going to matter because we're off seas. Damn! We've got anything in our discard pile that can help us? Uh, not really. I mean, we've got Skylar. We can take Skylar. We could, uh, yeah, let's do that. You know, the game is... This turn's gonna end anyway. I feel like I should... just play out a Mega... which he's gonna heal the damage from, unless I spread it other places. Alright, cool. Yep, absolutely. That's cool, we still got this, yo. We still got this. He hasn't taken any prizes off me yet either, so... That's not a big worry of mine. Fighting Fury Bell? Yeah, of course you would. Wouldn't want me taking him out.
Mm-hmm. Sure. Alakazam. Ooh, that's even more interesting. I don't want to shame him because I don't want to give him more prizes and he can already steal off me anyway. I could stick him more, but then you run the risk of not actually getting what you want, so I'm just going to Skylar for one. And hopefully... Yeah, well, we still got three in the deck. The only problem is it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything at all because... He's got no damage on him now, and I didn't even think of that. Oh, I really, really just wanna, I wanna so bad. Um, let's instead pick this guy up. Slap him on the damage guy on the bench. And where's that extra damage gonna go? He's got no energy. He's gonna heal 30. He could potentially heal 50. I'm going to slap it on that guy there. Because Alakazam's attack is going to hit three different Pokemon. So effectively, he'll erase 30 from this guy and 30 from this guy, potentially 50 from this guy, which is fine. Because it means that we're still leaving damage traces behind. Because that's exactly what we wanted to see. This, however, was not what we wanted to see. Especially considering he converses and just kill this guy. Now it's interesting, why is he putting energy over here? That's very interesting. Alright, so Alakazam. Oof. Uh, I feel like we may as well just go for it because he's going to be able to pick one of these guys up anyway, right? No. We ran the risk and we lost. It's going to be 10 less. Like, we're not going to be able to kill him off. This guy's got us. Yep, here it goes. I saw it coming anyway. Defeated. All right, so we'll go again. We'll see how we go this time. Just having so much fun with this deck. I just, I don't want to put it down. I just play it and play it and play it and play it and play it. Ed Cam is calling the flip. And I won. So we are going to go first, absolutely. Yeah, it's not, not a great hand, but not a bad hand. It's a mediocre hand. Uh, I think that we will be spirit linking and then ending straight away. Uh, a superior deck, right? It's a paralyzing deck. Yeah, we got game again, so that's fine. So, in it, hand away. Get nothing really, nothing great. Um, we can search ourselves some energy, which we won't do just yet. Scoop up's useless first turn, so we don't want to value. At least I'm fairly confident we can beat this deck. Ooh. Forest Giant Plants, guys. I forgot about that mistake. Uh, it means he will 
probably be able to pump out some fairly early damage. Fairly consistent, fairly early, fairly um, fairly large damage, actually. But that's alright, because we'll be able to... Oh! Well, I was going to say we'll be able to D-Valley and Skylar for an Ultra Ball, but... Uh... That's just good enough. <laughs> yeah, you can paralyze me, that doesn't bother me at all. Flying whip for 40. No, unless he gets his other guy down, which I think is 80 damage for grass energy. Which means it'll do 100 damage. Mm-hmm. Did he not get it? I'm confused. Is he gonna play it? Does he have it? Come on, man, tell me your deck is consistent enough for it. No, it's not. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. We can do with that, yo. Uh, Ultra Ball, getting rid of probably both the Sycamores, really. Because we've got Versus, we can just get another Sycamore back up. Uh, and we're gonna do our usual. Go and grab a Hooper. Except this time it's going to be, be a bit different. Uh, yes. So this time we are going to grab one Shaman, one Mega Alakazam, and one Alakazam. Because we've already had one out in the field for a turn. So we can Mega Evolve him, which will remove the status condition. Miracle Energy. Alakazam. A Spirit Link. Wake up, my little Susie. Wake up. 30 damage, oh, you know, I feel like I should be doing it to Snivy, but instead I'm gonna do it to a Shaman. Look at that, I'm all awake, yay! Then Shaman, yes, we want to draw a lot of cards, thank you. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't need to remove that from him. Uh, I could Ultra Ball a Shaman back to me. Oh, Ultra Ball. I could Super Scoop up and then Ultra Ball, uh, or attempt to, or I could just AZ and then use the Ultra Ball. But I don't think there's anything else here that we really need this turn. So we're just going to Zen Force him. Nice! See how far he goes with this guy. So this this particular deck, as far as I'm aware, um, the great thing is evolving obviously from Snivy to Savine, and then trying to get the Paralyze off, and then going to Superior because Superior does superior damage. Ha ha ha! I'm terrible. I'm so terrible. Um, but the thing with my deck is that G Evolution Spray. Once I play it on Mega Alakazam. To bring it back to my hand, it removes the special conditions because it's de-evolved. Um, plus, you've got super scoop ups, so they're in out. Um, you do have AZ if you really need to. This is the guy we want to just see. So, 140 HP. Coil. During your next turn, this Pokémon's attack does 60 more damage to the active Pokémon. Uh, slashing strike for 80. This Pokémon can't use slashing strike during your next turn. It's fairly strong, it's fairly strong, um, and he has of course paralyzed me with his uh, benched one. And I'm pretty sure we just saw him pick up all this Cedra. Which makes sense. Uh, so let's D-Valley, let's Super Scoop up, missed. Um, I feel like here that we can Shaman to get some more cards, um, or we can versus Seeker back either an N or a Sycamore. Uh, you know, let's let's do that. Let's go and grab a Sycamore. 
And instead of playing the shaman, let's buzz him in the energy out and go and grab Mega Alakazam. We'll pop that bad boy down. Yes, absolutely. Do we extra damage to this shaman? Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll kill him. And then we'll just sick him on. Maybe we'll find a de-evolution spray, which we did. So we'll devolve him. Uh, we don't have any energy attached to our other guys. We should have thought about that. Uh, whoops. Alright, let's try the super scoop up. Yes. Okay, great. For a second there, I was panicking. I was panicking. So we'll chuck another one down. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, not enough. Nine. Yeah, this will be though. Uh, yes, absolutely. So we'll spread an extra 30 damage over to the servine in the corner here. Pop Ministry Energy down. Pop an Alakazam down now. That's. Ah! Of course, because it's going to be game. And that, my friends, is the Mega Alakazam deck. It is so much fun to play. Um, but the amount of times people will just outright concede to you because they're like, alright, yeah, you got me. You, I can't win from here. Um, is actually kind of funny as well. Well, that's it. Uh, I will be back probably sometime this week with another deck.